Alright, so welcome to the fourth episode of a JavaScript Beginner to Advanced Edition. And at this episode, we will discuss conditional statements like if else, else if, logical operators, ternary operators, and switches. Okay? So before we start, mag install lang tayo ng isang extension. Click lang natin to. And then dito, type mo lang bracket colorizer. Skin lang natin to. Para makita natin yung icons. So, dalawa yung lalabas dito. The first one is bracket pair colorizer only. And the second one is bracket pair colorizer 2. So, ito yung bagong version. Ito yung i-install natin. Itong pangalawa. So, ang purpose nito, bibigyan niya ng unique na colors yung mga brackets and curly braces natin. So, gaya dito, yung open na brackets is yellow. And then, yung closing niya is yellow also. So, parehas. Itong pangalawa, kulay, ano yan, pink. And then, pink din yung closing niya. So, para mas madali yung pag-trace natin sa mga brackets natin for easy traceability. Okay? So, click lang natin itong install. And then, after that, pwede na natin siyang i-close. Right? So, balik lang tayo sa explorer natin. Ngayon, gagawa tayo ng isang folder dito. Let's just name this as conditional statements. Oops. Statements. Right. And inside this folder again, gagawa tayo ng index.html natin. And then our main.js. Okay. So, dito sa index, same way, gagawa tayo ng blank HTML structure. But we should keep, let's tap sa keyboard. And let's just name this as conditional statements. And then, copy ko lang yan. Gagawa lang din tayo ng h1. Paste lang natin yung conditional statements. And then, we will link our main.js by using the script tab. Okay. Just control S. Preview lang natin siya sa browser using our live server. And then, palabasin din natin yung console. Press F12. Okay. So, now let's go on to our main.js. So, kayo nunahin natin i-discuss yung FLs. Comment lang natin dito. FLs. So, para siyang ganito guys. If, and then yung expression mo sa loob. And then if it's true, mag-evaluate siya dito. Otherwise, if it's false, dito siya sa else. Ganyan. So, true here. Do something. Otherwise, if it's false, do something here. And dito yung expression mo sa loob. Okay, so, simple lang, di ba? Comment lang natin to. Gagawa lang tayo ng live example dito sa baba. I'm just gonna use the let keyword here. And then num1. And then lagyan natin siya ng value na say 20. Okay. So, ayan. Try natin F. So, expression natin sa loob. Num1 equals 20. Console.log tayo dito. Output lang natin if it is equal to 20, boolean lang yung lagay natin. Let's try with true. Otherwise, kung di siya equal to 20, lalag natin na false lang siya. Ganyan. Okay, so press control S on your keyboard. Now we have true here. Since num1 is 20, ito. So what if, palitan natin ng 19 to. Press control S, now you have false. So ito yung nag execute dito. So, baka makonfuse kayo bakit dito single equals lang and then dito double equals. Ibig sabihin ng single equals is nag-assign tayo ng value. So, comment lang natin dito. Use for assigning value. Yan, single equals. Itong double equals, ginagamit natin to para mag-compare ng value. Use for comparison. Okay? Anong kinocompare natin dito? Yung variable natin na num1, equals ba siya sa 19? So, ganyan yung pinagkaiba nila. So, try natin ibalik sa 20 to. Yan, may true tayo. So, ito, it doesn't matter kung string ito at ito numbers. Basta yung value dito is parehas lang sila. I-execute pa rin niya yung code block na to. Itong true na to. So, let's say for example, gawin natin string to. Lagyan na natin ng quotes, ganyan. So, string na yan. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now, you still have true here. Okay? 
So this is used for comparison regardless of its data type. O, tandaan nyo yan. As long as parehas yung value nya, nag-i-execute pa rin yung code block na true dito. Okay? So, what if gusto nating i-test na equal yung value at the same time, parehas rin yung data type nya? So, gawin natin, copy lang natin to. Paste lang natin dito. Instead of double equals, gawin natin syang tatlo. Ganyan. So, pag-press nyo ng control S, false na yung lalabas, ito. Kasi nga, itong 20 na to, di na siya equal dito. Kasi string to, an integer na to. Okay? So, what if ibalik natin sa integer yan, or number yan, press control S, now true na siya. Kasi nga, number na to, number na rin to. Comment lang natin dito, use to evaluate if the value and data type is the same. Okay? So, ganyan yung pinagkaiba sa double equals and triple equals. So, I suggest and I highly recommend na ito yung gamitin niyo sa mga future if statements niyo sa JavaScript. Kasi nga parang more consistent siya in terms of expression evaluation to avoid some unexpected errors na din. So, mas consistent ito. Kasi kinukumpare niya if the value and data type is correct. Okay? So, we also have not equals here. Comment lang natin. So, if nyan, num1, so not equals, ganyan lang, punctuation, pas equal sign. So, let's compare if num1 is not equal to 20. And console that lang lang natin. True, otherwise, oops, must be curly braces. False dito. Okay, so press control S on your keyboard. Now we have false here. Since num1 is equals to 20. So tingnan nyo dito, ganun pa rin siya. It doesn't matter if yung num1 mo is a string. Kasi dito string siya. But parehas pa rin yung value na na 20. I-execute pa rin niya yung expression na to. Okay, so not equals regardless of its data type. Okay. So, what if gusto natin i-evaluate na the same yung value at the same time yung data type niya? So, copy lang natin to. And instead of single equals, gawin natin siyang double equals. Ganyan. So, press control S on your keyboard. Now, we have true here. Since num1 is not equal to 20. Kasi nga, yung 20 dito is string. And dito, number siya. So, what if palitan natin siya ng, gawin natin siyang number. Press control S, magpo-false na siya. So, kasi nga yung num1 is equal to 20. So, ito yung i-execute niya. Okay? So, that's the difference between this not equal sign and this equal sign. So, this one not equals of value and data type. Okay? We also have uh, greater than or less than. So, simply lang to. If then num1 is greater than or equal to 20, then it's return false here. Console that lag lang natin. Otherwise, it's return false. So press control S. Ngayon may true tayo dito kasi nga yung num1 natin is equal to 20. So what if palitan natin siya ng 19? Yan, pa-false na siya dito. Okay? So, balik lang natin sa 20. So, pag less than, ganyan lang. Oops. ba? So, press control S. Same result. Kasi nga, yung num1 natin is equal to 20 pa rin. Okay? So, ganyan lang kasimple. Let's move on to elsef. I'm going to use the const keyword here. So, let's say, for example, uh, let's check if the day is Sunday or Monday. So, today equals, let's say, Sunday. Ganyan. So, sa if else, ganun pa rin. If ganyan, 
Andin dito. If today equals Sunday. Then, console.log lang natin dito. And this time, I'm gonna use the back text. Na-discuss na natin ito dati, di ba? So, today is color sign. Then, open and close color braces. Then, lagay natin yung today natin dito. And then, here, we will put our ilsef. Ganyan. If today was Monday, and then else if again dito. If today equals, oops, kalimutan natin lang yan. Equally equals at us. Say for example, Tuesday. So, console.log natin dito. Same. So, otherwise, if today is wala dyan sa above na mga choices, dito na siya mapapapol sa else. So, console.log. Then, output lang natin tong variable na to. Lagyan na natin, is not defined. Ganyan. So, kalimunta natin yung backtext dito. Okay, so, press control S on your keyboard. Now, we have today is Sunday here. Kasi nga, Sunday yung nilagay natin sa today dito. So, the same. Lagyan natin ng Monday. Mag-greater ng Monday yan. So, what if lagyan natin siya ng Wednesday dito? Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now, we have Wednesday is not defined. So, kasi nga, yung choices natin dito sa F is Sunday, uh, Monday, and Tuesday only. So, other than that, dito siya mafo-fall sa else. Same with Thursday. Press Ctrl S. Now, Thursday is not defined. So, ganyan lang mag else of statement. Para siya lang ganito, sa taas, kaya lang nilagyan lang natin ng if dito yung else. Ganyan. Okay? Now, let's move on to logical operators. So, may dalawa tayong logical operators. Ito yung isa. Ito yung and. And itong isa. Ganyan. Ito yung or. Okay? So, let's say for example, cons. Name equals Noidev. Okay. Oops. Name that part. And then, lagyan natin siya ng grade na numbers lang. Say 75. Or let's say 92. Okay, so try natin gamitin una itong and na to. Purpose nito, use to evaluate if both statements are true. So, let's see for example here. If uh, grade is greater than or equal to 75 and grade It's less than 80. So, console.log lang tayo dito. Console.log. And then dito, we'll use back text again. And then, i-output natin yung name. Should be dollar sign. And then, let's say if the grade is in between 75 and 80, the student has a fair grade. So, has a fair grade. Okay? And then, else if copy lang natin to. 
if yung grade niya is greater than or equal to 80, and then let's say less than or equal to 90, Ligyan natin siya ng grade or comment na what? Uh, very good grade. Okay? So, copy lang natin na ginto. Say for example, if grade is greater than or equal to 90, and then his grade is less than or equal to 100, comment lang natin dito. Oops, yung curly braces natin. So, very good. Let's change this to what? Excellent. Grade. So, press control S on your keyboard. Now, we have Pinoy Dev has an excellent grade. Kasi nga, 92 to. So, try natin siyang gawing 75. Press control S. Now, we have Pinoy Dev as a fair grade. So, ito siya. Kasi nga, yung grade is greater than or equal to 75 but less than 80. So, what if gawin natin siyang 81? Press Ctrl S. Now, we have Pinoy Dev has a very good grade. So, dito rin siya na fall. Dito sa condition na to. Kasi nga, yung grade is greater than or equal to 80. And at the same time, yung grade is less than or equal to 90. Okay? So, ganyan yung uh, logical operator na and. Let's move on to or. So, ito. Or. So, declaring tayo ng bagong variable dito. Let's say, uh, what is office hours? Say, for example, uh, 11. Okay. So, if. So, what if yung office nyo is nag-open lang siya half day? Let's say, for example, 9 to 12. So, lagay natin dito. If office hours is less than 9. Or. Office hours is greater than 12. So, lagay tayo dito. Console.log. The office is still closed. Okay. So, else. The office is now open. Oh, ganyan lang. Press control S new keyboard. Now we have here the office is now open. So bakit siya open? Kasi nga 11 yung nilagay natin dito. So expression natin dito, kung office hours mo is less than 9 or kung office hours mo is greater than 12. So kung kahit saan lang dito, may execute to. Pag may nag true lang dito ang isa. Kung nag true yan or nag true yan, may execute to. But since 11 to, wala siya dyan. So dito siya. The office is now open. So, what if lagyan natin siya ng 8 dito? Press Ctrl S. Now, you have the office is still closed. Okay? Kasi less than 9 na siya. So, ito yung naging execute. So, sarado pa yung opisina. So, what if lagyan natin dito ng 13, which is 1 o'clock? Close pa rin yan. So, in between 9 to 12, open siya. Okay? So, let's say 10. Yan, yung office is open na. So, ganyan yung OR. Okay? So, let's move on to ternary operators. So, itong ternary operators, para siyang shortcut lang ng if statement. So, say for example, declare na tayo dito cons. Age equals 17. So, dito, console.log. Oops. So let's say if age is less than 17 and then question mark, this pertains if the condition is true, we will return a uh, kid. You're still a kid. Otherwise, if it is false, colon lang. Ganyan. So kung false siya, ito yung lalabas. Say adult. So, para siyang shortcut ng if statement. Para siyang if age is less than 17, kung true siya, itong question mark na to, ito yung lalabas, yung kid. 
Otherwise, yung second expression natin is itong colon, which is false. So, ito yung narrator niya. So, press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now, we have adult here. Since age is equal to 17. So, what if we will change this to 16? Now, you have kid right here. So, ganyan yung channel operators. Okay? So, let's move on to switches. We're going to use the let keyword here. Uh, let's say, for example, kunin natin yung day or current day sa computer natin or sa system natin. So, let's say weekdays equals new date dot git day okay and then dito type lang natin switch and then open and close brackets and then curly braces and then we have our case here this will evaluate whatever expressions you put here so lagay natin weekdays dito so since git day yung kinuha natin dito ang nire-return nito is integer so 0 starts with sunday 1 starts with the uh, Monday, and then Tuesday is 2, and so on. So let's say, for example, 0 here, and then colon. Let's console that log here. Day is Sunday. After that, we break down natin siya, and then we we'll move on to our second case, which is case 1. And yan. Copy ko lang yan. And then today is Monday. So, hindi ibig sabihin case 0, 1, 2, 3 yung ilagay nyo dito. So, whatever values yung nasa expression ng switch nyo dito, ito yung ilalagay nyo dito sa case statement dito. So, since ni return nyo is integer, so 0, 1, 2, ito yung nilagay ko dito, 0, 1, 2. Okay? So, don't be confused with that. Let's try another case here. Oops. Case 2. Today is Tuesday. Ganyan. Otherwise, pag yung expression of value is wala dito, so dito siya lalabas sa default. Then, comment lang natin dito. Kaya na lang natin to. Day is not defined. Okay, so press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now you have today is Monday here. Okay, since today is, I think, Monday. Oh, Monday siya. Okay. So let's say, gawin natin siyang Tuesday. Pakita natin yung calendar natin. Gawin natin siyang December 3. Change. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now we have today is Tuesday here. Kasi nga Tuesday na yung calendar natin. So, balik ko lang siya sa tamang date. Oops. Okay. So, ganyan guys, ang switch. So, let's say for example, comment na lang natin to. Gawin natin siyang string, yung weekdays. Let's say, Sunday. Ganyan. So, pag ganyan, Lagay natin dito is string din. Say Sunday. Oops. Then dito, let's say Monday. And then dito, Tuesday. Okay. Now we have today is Sunday in the console. So what if lagyan natin ito ng Monday? Press Ctrl S your keyboard. Now we have Monday. So kung Wednesday siya, magda not define na siya. Kasi nga, hanggang Tuesday lang nang dinidefine natin dito. Oops, this must be Tuesday. Ganyan. Okay? So, that is switch. So, I hope guys, marami kayong natutunan sa episode na to. Sa next video na lang natin i-discuss yung while loops. And we will discuss deeper about arrays. How to loop in arrays. And we will also discuss objects. And if may time pa, i-discuss na rin natin yung window object before they mag-move on to a more advanced topic like DOM manipulation and classes and inheritance. Okay, so thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel para marami pa tayong ma-upload yung mga learning videos na ganito.